Hello everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Salia and this is episode 4 of my Cottage Core Survival Series. In this video, I'm going to be finishing my house, working on beautifying the rest of our base, and hopefully building more of our farm. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and check out the other episodes in this series. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I really need to do today is work on the inside of this house. It needs quite a bit of work. I'm going to start with the floor. So let me see if I have any oak wood. And we actually don't have a lot of it. That is unfortunate. So for some reason, my mods just aren't working today. So we'll be working on the, um, the kitchen part and the kitchen counter part later on, I think. But for now, let's go ahead and go and get some oak wood to use for the floor. Let's get a bunch of wood to use for planks for the floor. Ideally, it would be nice to use stripped logs, but we don't have a ton of wood in this area. And I don't really feel like going far away just to get some wood for a floor. So for now, we're going to make do with what we have. We have a little bit of oak wood, so let's go ahead and head back home, and let's work on this floor. Wow, our house already looks so much better. Now I'm going to make a couple torches. Cute! I love the way this looks so far. Now I'm going to work on expanding our farm and making it more of a sustainable food source for us. I really love making tiered farms. They just look so cute and it's usually pretty sustainable because you can just- Oh wait, actually we need to get water. Oops. I should go do that. Let's go and collect more seeds that we can use for this farm. I started getting surrounded by my, my monsters, so now I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. Hopefully there aren't any monsters outside right now. Well, there's one burning up there. He's fine though. We don't we, we don't care about him. Let's go ahead and plant the rest of these seeds. I'm thinking about putting a water source maybe right here. So yeah, let's do that. We can put that right there. And then fill the rest of this area with seeds. level out the rest of this so that we can have a little bit more area hopefully all the water will get evenly distributed to this area of the farm as well that would be pretty nice let's see where could i put that i could put it here An 
nice. I'm going to wait for this little bit of wheat right here to grow in so that I can put some water over there. Let's go ahead and go fill back up our bucket. We probably should get more buckets, actually. Oh, there's lava over there. That is good to know. We'll definitely need to go to the nether soon as it's a really good source of gold and we're going to need some ender portals, ender portals, and some ender pearls and all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I haven't been to the nether in survival all that much just because I think it's scary, but hopefully with enough preparation and armor and tools, it will actually be a good fun experience. And now our farm looks pretty good. This is going to be a really good source of food. Okay, now it's time to start up on this path. I feel like it's looking a little bit small. So if we added a little bit more depth and dimension to it, then I think it'll actually look a lot better. I'm gonna grab some amethyst and some cobblestone. And we're gonna use that to make the path look a little bit prettier. That looks pretty awesome. Now I'm going to use some of the little flowers we have um, to help spruce up the path a little bit. I'm gonna go see if we have any amethyst clusters. Let's see. Nope, not really. I just realized that the only way for us to get amethyst shards for decorations is actually to just go and get them with silk touch from the geode. Um, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon as I'm not super experienced with enchantments. I'm going to plant a couple of our saplings around this area just so that we'll have more of a wood source in the future. And let me go grab those spruce saplings. And we can plant those in this section of our base. There's more flowers over here. I didn't even realize that. Let's grab some of those because they are so cute and we can use them for decorations. Okay, now that those saplings are planted, let me grab these flowers. I wonder if there are any more flowers that would be close to this area. I found purple flowers! Yay! Actually, wait. I guess they're kind of pink, but it's fine. It counts. 
Purple and pink are my favorite colors. They're actually so cool and they're kind of my brand. So honestly, finding these flowers is so good because we can use them for our amazing builds to help everything look super pretty and amazing. There's also a bunch of sheep over here, which is really cool. And we are now getting chased by a skeleton. Great. All I want to do is get home safely, but there are always so many monsters. I don't know if anything can really be done about that, though. This looks so pretty right here. Such a gorgeous valley. Oh, I just realized that we haven't worked on the top floor of our house. Oops. See, because there's supposed to be, like, glass up there. So, oh, we could make a little, like, loft-type area up here, but I honestly love the way that this cottage looks already, just because it's so open. And by the way, friends, I do have a tutorial for a house that's similar to this on my YouTube channel. If you guys do want to check it out, I will link it in the description. It has also been linked previously in different descriptions if you do want to check it out. We could make like a cute little table over here maybe but i'm trying to think of things that would be really like functional for this area let's go out and put some of these peonies up they won't go there that's fine out here 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 maybe a little bit here that's cute! I do like that. That looks amazing. I'm gonna go back to our old cave and figure out if I left any materials over there. Hopefully I didn't, but if I did, now is a good time to go back and get them. Oh, we did leave some um, leather and hides up here. That's cool. I can also go ahead and grab these furnaces since we don't really need them over here. And I can get this. And this. Okay, our cave has officially been cleared out. I think probably in the next episode I'll go and explore this a little bit more. I'd love to go get some of that emerald down there and there's also so much iron. What we do really need to find is diamonds. But I really want to explore this cave a little bit more first, just to be sure that there isn't, like, any surface ores that we can get without having to go, like, really mining. One of the cool things about the 1.19 generation is that all of the caves are pretty functional, and they kind of take out the, um, the purpose behind doing, like, normal strip mining. Like, of course, it's good to do that every once in a while but it's it's also nice to just go in the caves and just look for the specific materials that you need i'll put this check in this chest next to our bed right here that looks kind of cute oh one thing we can do is work on that dirt out there make that look nicer I'll put these flowers in here just because they are so cute, as well as this extra food.
we need more corn flowers for the front of the house. I'm gonna go hunt around and find some of them. So this area has a lot of flowers, but there's just no blue flowers, which is a little bit strange. Oh wait, this brush is over here. I get lost in this area all the time, mostly because I don't know if my house is like literally just over there. Honestly, I really need waypoints. Here's some blue flowers. Yay! Chicken! Thank you, chicken. You are now my food. going to keep exploring in this cool area because I found this really cool cave but the problem is that we are dangerously low on food so I'm gonna head back and finish up the house I'm pretty sure it's this way oh there's pumpkins I can't remember if we've planted pumpkins or not but I'll go back and grab those later, because again, it is night, and I don't want to get lost and stranded. Mm -hmm. I want to take this opportunity to quickly promote my Minecraft cape. I'm partnered with a really cool company called Mantle, who gave me this amazing Minecraft cape, and you guys can buy it if you would like to. It is relatively inexpensive, and does support me a lot as a creator if you buy it. I will make sure to include the link in the description of the video for you guys to check out. Okay, let's put some of these blue flowers around here just to kind of spice up the area and tie it all together. Cute! I love the way this looks. It's so nice. Let's put some of our food in here to cook. Awesome, I love that. And let's put another lantern here, just to help with some of the ambient lighting. I'd love to find something to go right here. I feel like this area is a little bit sparse. We could put some bookshelves maybe, but we don't really have any bookshelves. So for now, that might not be the best thing to do. And let's go ahead and go to sleep. Alright everyone, I think this is where I will call it quits for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to go exploring. We'll probably go back to our little amethyst pod and try to get some more decorations for our house. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Minecraft cape in the description of this video and subscribe if you would like to and comment your favorite part of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.